as of today, the weather has been like awesome. Uh, how can people stay healthy during during this shutdown in the city of Kawartha Lakes? Uh, the best thing we can, uh, you know, it's it's tough with parents are struggling at home, you know, with their kids and trying to find that balance between going to work and, and, and getting somebody to look after the kids and getting the kids doing their lessons, you know, online. So, you know, it's not just having your kids home. I don't need to tell you, you can probably speak to it more than I can, but, uh, you know, getting them in front of that laptop or computer and, and getting them to, to focus on an online lesson is not so easy sometimes for younger kids. So certainly some challenges, but, you know, we recommend to try and do outdoor activities as much as possible, you know, tobogganing, uh, ice skating. I, I see a lot of rinks on the lakes, a lot of a lot more lakeside rinks have been shoveled off and, you know, uh, walking, snowmobiling, you know, I mean, if, if you think about the safety protocols, there's quite a bit of stuff, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, you know, there's a lot of things that can be done and be done safely. And then we realize we have to keep our distance. We have to, you know, wear our face coverings and stick with our families. But at the same time, you know, there are some things that we can still do outside. And I think it's important that, uh, you're right. The winter hasn't been too bad so far. The weather's not too, too cold. So while it's bearable, uh, it might not stay that way forever, but while it's bearable, you know, try and get out for a while. I see a lot of people out walking, you know, husbands and wives and with their dogs and just try and keep yourself moving and as much exercise as possible. And uh, it's a little tough right now. We recognize that, but uh, I, I think it's important because it's, it's going to be a long winter. There's no doubt about it. The fresh air feels good, and um, I did read something about a polar vortex, but um, we'll just pretend that we didn't hear about that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They, they, they love to have these words, right? It used to be a forefront, right? Like, yeah. Arctic mass, and now it's a polar vortex, and, you know, what it'll be a sharknado, tornado, freezing next time. Like, it just, it's always, it's always something. I don't know if it's something new or we're just trying to get people's attention, but... Uh, I think what they're trying to say is it's possible the weather's going to get a little bit colder toward the end of January, which is probably pretty normal for January in Canada. Um, you know, we've been lucky so far, so we'll take it while we can get it. Absolutely. Um, how do people, if people need help getting municipal uh, information, where do they go for this? Uh, the best course right now is, uh, number one, they can call our customer service. Uh, we still have our staff answering the phone, so 324-9411 and, and talk to somebody there and tell them what you're looking for. But a really good page that we update uh, is our website. They've done a great job at keeping our website up to date uh, daily with any new information we have, uh, especially we have a kawarthalakes.ca backslash COVID-19 page. And that is updated daily on just COVID-related information, links to the health, health unit and their web page and so on. Um, they have their own uh, health unit, but there are different agencies who can help as well. It really just depends on, you know, what somebody's looking for. Uh, there is help out there, and we certainly recommend if somebody's not sure, looking for more information or concerned, um, you know, reach out to our customer service or go on our website and try to find some more information. And uh, um, there's lots of lots of people standing by ready to assist if needed. So we'll certainly, uh, we'll certainly do our best to, uh, you know, to to help as many people as we can. It's a, it's a tough time for many. And, uh, and, and again, we've had, we've had an awesome community and, uh, you know, we continue to ask people to reach out to their neighbors and, you know, seniors and just, just knock on the door every once in a while or make a phone call and make sure somebody that you know is okay. And is, is there anything they need? And uh, uh, spring is on the way. <laughs>